welcome back to a new video. In this video in particular, we're gonna talk about the setting of the GH5 and actually what I found the most easy to toggle setting and the most useful when you're vlogging, when you are in a situation that you have not so much time to go looking for the right setting. Now this one, no, I don't know where it was, where it was the out of focus? It was in the first menu or in the second one? So, you know, to make it even more easy to use this fantastic camera that is wonderful for video and also for photo. The first setting that I'm gonna ask you to put uh, automatically in your camera in your creative uh, video mode is to go to the second menu, go down, 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 you find a uh, continuous F and you're gonna toggle on. I know continuous as focus with this camera is not the best, uh, uh, is not perfect in all situations, is pretty crappy most of the time, but actually in this moment I'm using the autofocus and hopefully you can see me completely in focus. So. And also because uh, the reason why I'm gonna ask you to do that right now, you know, it's gonna be helpful later in the video. So one thing to know about this camera that is very, very, very good is the possibility to customize every single button of the camera. Of course, uh, on the dial of your camera, you have three menus, C1, C2, and C3. Actually, with C3, you can customize even more with other three. So basically, in the end, uh, you have about six uh, buttons on your dial to just uh, change uh, things and uh, to make uh, your favorite video mode. The first one setting that I'm gonna talk about is this one that I'm using right now, that is the video creative classic mode you know in this one you can change all your setting every time you turn on the camera you're gonna you know find the same setting and you left when you turn it off i'm using like 4k in 24 fps um, in this case but for all the other setting that i'm gonna show you in this video i'm using the natural profile for the color i think are the best for skin tone in general you know are very good out of the camera without any kind of color grading this one I use mostly when I want to just, I have time to set my camera, I don't have uh, to be in a hurry, I'm not traveling, I'm just right here talking uh, with a light, with a camera, with a microphone, I have all the time in the world to toggle in my camera. The second setting that I'm gonna show you is the first one, so is C1. C1, basically, I'm using that uh, setting uh, when I'm in a situation that I want to make some B-roll uh, with very high quality. So in this case, I'm shooting 4K at 60 frames per second, so I can show everything mostly. And uh, in post, I can decide to keep the normal speed or I can slow down per two. And this is very helpful, um, mostly because uh, I have more um, time in post-production to make a stronger decision you know, if I am in a very like uh, speedy situation, you know. The second setting that I'm gonna show you is like C2. C2 I'm using when I want to go even slower. In this case, I'm not more in 4K, so the quality of the picture is gonna be a little bit less, uh, but uh, actually is 120 frames per second, so you can uh, basically slow down uh, for four times. In this way, you can really have a very creamy like B-roll if you want to make like travel vlogging or in general, if you want to go sl slow and to see an action with uh, all the uh, you know detail of the movement that you can. So I'm using another toggle that is not even a customized button. So you have to go down till there, that is called S and S stay for selfie or shutter speed if you're more professional, but I prefer selfie. And this uh, way I'm filming at 4K, in basically the same way I'm filming right now, in 4K, 24 frames per second. And in this way, I set shutter speed priority. And why? In this way, when I'm like out and I have not the time to control all the setting, everything is uh, based on my shutter that usually, of course, when I film at 24 frames per second, is gonna be at 50 um, because in this way you add, get this kind of creamy cinematic uh, uh, blur of your movement that is very pleasing and not distracting so it's nice in this way you know I don't have to think about too much about my settings and that are my favorite uh, you know setting for this camera 
to customize every single one, you have to go in the menu, you're gonna find in this place right here and you have to go to customize setting and basically when you find C1, C2 and C3, you have to press on one of them and you have to save the setting that right now are set on your camera. In this way, you can have the same setting as me. So, why I think uh, this in this way is the best way to use your camera without even thinking about oh, which setting in this way? Because it's just fast. It's very fast. Uh, and to coming back to the first part of the video when I told you about why to put for every single setting continuous uh, out of focus, it's because the GH5 has a very, very cool dial away from the main one. There's a little bit down. This little dial right here basically has autofocus, manual autofocus, and continuous autofocus. So, basically, it's very easy. Without even go to the menu, you have to just toggle them to go to autofocus, manual focus, and continuous as focus. In this way, there is no reason to go on the menu. You just have to, you know, just switch. So, that is basically my favorite setting for this camera. Of course, there are other things to talk about these other settings, but I think this one are the main one if you are planning to film with this camera and you're traveling and vlogging probably. Of course, when I'm filming a short movie, I'm not using most of the time natural profile. I'm going to a vlog, but uh, I need more time, color grading. So I think natural color, that this one right here, is the best. So, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please, uh, if you are interested to check some vlogs that I have done it, go down and find my party vlog when I'm using actually the same setting that, you are, that I talk in this video. If you have to know what is uh, the feeling, the vibe of this camera. And thank you very much for watching and see you to the next video.